so sometimes we end up with a bunch of worksheets in a workbook including a lot of tables. In today's example I have five different sheets including some sales data from different countries. So what I want to do today is to create a dynamic list of those tables I have created in my workbook so far. I simply go back to the sheet one because that's where I want to create that dynamic list. And I'm sure you're gonna be surprised how easy it is. I simply go to the data tab, I hit get data, and down below I select launch power query editor. Once it opened up, I go to the query pane, right click on it, select new query, and instead of importing something, I select other sources and I simply just select blank query and I create a brand new blank query. And I'm going to use a simple M function which is called the excel.current workbook. I double click on the function and I simply just enter the end parameters, which is just an open and close brackets. Then I hit enter. And here we go. I got the list of objects. Actually, the tables have been created in my workbook so far. If I select the content column and one of the cell from the content column, then I can see the actual values of the tables and I could expand it if I want, but I don't need it this time. So I'm going to just simply right click on the column and hit remove. There is going to be one more thing I need to modify in my query, but I want to demonstrate it to you. So first I'm going to just simply name my query table and I'm gonna name it like list of tables, hit enter. Then I go to the home tab, hit close, close and load two. I want to insert on the sheet one, so I'm going to select existing worksheet, table, hit OK. Voila, I got the list of the tables from my workbook. And as you see, there is one weird thing at the end of the table. And that's the actual table I just inserted on the sheet. But I don't want to have it on my table, so I simply just go back to the query editor, right click, hit edit. And the last step I want to do is just simply filter out my table name I just created. I hit OK and I can go back to the home tab, close and load and here we go. My table has been updated. And now let me show you one more trick which is very cool to navigate between those tables. And the only thing I need to do is just simply add a new column to my table and this is going to be called as reference. Once it's done, I'm going to enter a formula which is called cell. I open the brackets and I choose address. This formula will return back the reference of a table or the address itself. Then I hit comma and I'm going to use the indirect function to return the table name as a reference. I close the cell formula and I simply hit enter. It returned back the table references in a column. If I want to navigate between those tables, then I simply just add the new column and I'm going to name it as link. And the other formula I'm going to use is the hyperlink. I select the formula, I select the row where I have the reference and I hit enter, but it's not gonna work. As you see, I got the links, but if I click on the link, it gives me back an error. There is one more thing we need to add to this formula. So I simply just go back to my editor and the missing thing is a hashtag operator because that will indicate to Excel that this reference needs to be treated as a bookmark. So what I'm gonna do, double quote, hashtag, double quote, ampersand and hit enter. And let's see if it works. So I'm going to select the book one France tab and here we go. It navigated me to the table what I selected from my dynamic list. So once I create a new table or worksheet in my workbook, that's gonna be updated dynamically on my list. Let me show you. I simply just copy the Germany table, right click on the table, hit move or copy, select create copy, and I hit OK. That's a newly created worksheet in my workbook. Then I go back to the sheet one, go to the data tab, and hit refresh. And voila, the newly created tab also appears on my dynamic list. Mm -hmm. 